Hello YouTubers, so today let's talk about the Triumph Tiger XC and let's do a little bit of a review on this vehicle. Um, so I've owned this motorcycle now for probably about six months and I've got to say it's a cracking piece of kit. Um, it's done me ever so well so far and it's helped build up my confidence as well. Um, there's lots of things we could say about it, like we could go on about the brake horsepower, uh, the point that it's a three cylinder engine, um, but that's kind of the boring stuff that, to be honest, I don't really care about. What I care about is... Is the three cylinder engine any good? And yes, I'd say it is. You've got the Scorpion exhaust that's been put on as an extra that really gives it that sort of grunty sound. If you don't want to upset your neighbours early in the morning, don't recommend it. Um, it's got the Givy Pannier set on mine. I've obviously got the full set. You can see the box on the back. They're really handy for those sort of luggage and long distances. I'd believe the Triumph one's got quite bad reviews. This is a 2011 plate bike. Um, it's obviously got the extras of the heated grips. Um, that's probably the only extra it's got. It's a non-ABS model. I've not had any personal problems with the bike whatsoever at all. So, shall we get on board this lovely machine today and go for a little bit of a ride? Let's do that. So here we go. Let's fire up. Listen to that roar. Okay, so what's important to me is the ride of this Triumph, how smooth it is. Now, I find the perf I find this is the perfect engine, being the uh, three-cylinder. It's got that lovely, smooth power all the way through, and it really does pull well. The comfort levels of this bike seem to work really well as well. I've not had to put anything on the seat. Um, I find it a very neutral position for my arms, so I'm not constantly leaning on my, uh, on my wrist and getting wrist pain. The other big benefits I find about this motorcycle as well is it's the perfect height. Now I'm only a five foot six height uh, uh, gen uh, man. So um, yeah, I'm only five foot six and I personally find that, again, this works really, really well. I can get my feet onto the floor. I'm extremely comfortable. I don't struggle at all um, whenever I come up to a junction or a bend. And I don't really struggle getting on the bike. Um, obviously you've got to do a bit of a, as you do, cowboy leap, but for the size, for the sort of height of the bike, it's really good. When it comes down to build quality, as always, try and make a cracking bike. It's a good quality, nothing's gone wrong on the bike up to now, obviously I've kept it well maintained. I've covered quite a few miles on this bike as well. Uh, the wind protection is quite lacking from this front screen, and you normally see a lot of people putting on aftermarket screens. Uh, you can buy what I've got coming up in a few in the future, a wind uh, de like deflector that works really well. Um, so that would probably be a criticism. You need to look at the braid in that screen if you're going to go on a long run. Even now, 60 miles an hour, I'm getting quite well buffeted. The on and off road capability of this bike, well it's just awesome. If you fancy going down a green lane, going across probably a desert, this machine is made for that. It's got everything you want. But what's it like when it comes down to being on the road? Well, interestingly enough, you wouldn't tell this is an off-road machine as well. It's well planted, the weight feels really good, the brakes are fantastic. It doesn't lack in any way whatsoever at all. It's got nice, light throttle response as well, and it's pretty quick there. There's no kind of like big gap between the throttle kicks in, it's straight off. And again, this bike now is getting quite old. I mean, it's from 2011. It's one of their first when it comes down to this model of machine. They've obviously got the previous, the uh, Tiger. But this is their first in this kind of real off-road kind of look. Some say they've copied the BMW. In my opinion, if they have, they've improved it. So, would I buy this bike again? Yes, I would. It does really well. But the handling on the bike... I've not felt the back end slip out at all. I have had the back end lock up a couple of times under, he under heavy braking, but that is normally because I've missed my turning, as I, t I tend to do that quite often. Um, but the handling, yeah, the handling handles really, really well. Would have put my knee on the floor? Probably not, but this bike's not made for that. This bike is a dual sports machine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little review of this 2011 Triumph. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking at one, I'd recommend it, especially if you want to get into this style of bike. It's perfect. 
it's not too big, it's not too small, it's got plenty of power and you can go anywhere. You name it, jump on it and go. Anyway, that's it from me this time. As always, if you could like and subscribe, leave us a nice little cheeky comment. Thanks very much and goodbye.